Okay, so this is the last video, and we're going to be making the swivel pad portion of this. So this is a pretty simple part to make. Uh, it's three-eighths of an inch long, three-quarters of an inch in diameter. We're going to turn this bit down to three-eighths of an inch, and then drill it out with a five-sixteenths drill down to a quarter of an inch deep. Now that bit's going to fit over the ball that we made on our previous part. What we're going to do is slot it four times, so one, two, three, and four. That's going to allow us to peen over what's left so it'll grab onto that ball, and it won't come off, but it'll still swivel. Now since this piece isn't very long, I'm going to go ahead and grab onto a lot of waste stock, and I'm going to go ahead and turn my, my diameter, drill out my holes, and then I'm going to cut my four slots while it's still long. I'll use a collet block just like I did in the last video. And then afterwards, I can either part it off or saw it off. Uh, it's up to you, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Um, personally, I find sawing to be a little bit faster. Uh, either way, you're going to have to flip it around, grip it on that 3 8 section, and face it to length. I just used the exact same techniques I used elsewhere in this series and again I want to hammer this home this is the kind of thing that you're gonna do on the vast majority of lathe parts uh, you're gonna stop a little bit shy I took a, a first finishing cut of 25 thousandths and I left myself approximately 25 thousandths I'll take a measurement and I also stopped shy on the shoulder I should be about six thousandths shy and uh, we'll see All right, I am 22 thousandths shy on the diameter and a couple of tenths. Yep, about six thousandths shy on the length. Okay, here's a spot drill. So here's our 5 sixteenths drill. There's no need to drill and ream this. Uh, we're just going to go straight to a 5 sixteenths drill. And you can see right here from the print that the point goes in a quarter of an inch. So from the surface of the part in one quarter of an inch. So for our purposes we can just eyeball the point onto the end of the piece and note the reading on your quill scale and then just drill in a quarter of an inch. Now at this point we've got a pretty thin wall and we've got that hole that our ball should go into and it should go just a little bit past the center line of the ball. So at this point um, we'll go ahead and cut our slots and we'll be able to peen this over and the swivel will just sit there. Okay so I'm using my four-sided collet block just like I did in the last video and this time I'm going to be cutting four slots right there with this eighth inch uh, end mill. This happens to be a two flute carbide end mill, so I'm going to be running it as fast as it'll go, which is 2720 on my step pulley bridge port. Now, since I'm making this part pretty much immediately after making the other one, I'm still set up from using the four sided collet block before, so I've still got my, my table stop set up and I've still got my center found on my part. If you don't have that, if you've torn down your setup in between making one part and making this one, uh, then you'll have to find your center again and uh, find your edges accordingly. The only edge I'm going to have to find is where the edge of the end mill hits the end of my piece. And you could do that a couple of different ways. You could just touch it off with the end mill, but you might go a little bit heavy. In this case, that wouldn't matter. Uh, you could also use a piece of paper like this. Put it in between the end mill and the piece and I generally try to use a longer piece of paper so my fingers aren't as close to the cutter but uh, as soon as the paper tears or gets ripped out of your hands then you have found where the paper is and then you're offset by the thickness of the paper. Uh, a lot of people like to use cigarette paper for that because it's only a thousandth of an inch. Uh, any size paper will do. People use newsprint. This is just office paper which is four thousandths of an inch thick. As long as you know what the thickness is, you should be fine. Okay, so right there I felt the paper catch, and I'm going to go ahead and mark that as my zero. And of course I'm offset by the thickness of the paper from the actual edge.
Here's slot number two. And uh, notice I'm not going all the way through. I'm going to actually make four cuts just because that's a kind of a long distance for an eighth inch end mill. I'd much rather just uh, cut one slot at a time rather than trying to do it in two operations. Now since these were just slots and it really didn't matter how deep they were since they went through the part, I didn't bother tapping down the collet block onto the parallels to make sure it was seated. It just wasn't really necessary for this project. Um, what I do need to do is use a triangular scraper though, and I'm going to go ahead and deburr all these little slots. And that way they're not going to interfere with the fit of my collet when I turn this around. So I've got it all nice and deburred. Now I've got to cut off all this extra and uh, I'm going to go ahead and saw it off rather than parting it because sawing is going to be a little bit faster and uh, I'm just going to cut it a little bit long and I'm going to go ahead and keep it in the collet block and hold this in my bandsaw vise. So here's my part all sawn off. I cut it a sixteenth of an inch long just so I can take a light facing cut and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this shoulder hard up against the face of the collet. I've changed over to a 3 8 5C collet to grip onto this. And that's going to act like a collet stop for me. I'll be able to push it up against that, take a light facing cut, and then take it out and measure it. And as long as I push it up against that collet, then I should know exactly where my Z is. Okay, so I'm showing just shy of 169 thousandths of an inch. Now that's uh, 168 and 9 tenths. And again, I'm shoving my shoulder up against the face of the collet. Tighten it up. And I should know exactly where the end of my piece is. Okay, there we are. We've got our finished part. Now we need to peen over these edges onto the ball and this project's done. Not sure if I'm going to be able to get this on camera so I'll just show you what I'm going to do. I'm putting the piece on there and then all these little flat spots right here I'm just going to hit them with a punch until they start to wrap around. That'll keep the swivel pad on top here but it'll still allow it to move around. Okay. So I've got my swivel pad put on there. I'm holding it in some soft jaws in my vise. And I'm just going to use a, a pin punch and just kind of peen that edge over and then I'll move on to the next one. And once all four of them are peened over, we're done. Okay, swivel pad won't come off, but it moves freely. And there you have it, our machinist jack. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.